UFC 307 goes down uh, this weekend from Salt Lake City, Utah. In the main event, it is uh, Alex Pereira defending his light heavyweight championship against number seven contender, some crazy how, Khalil Roundtree. And while Pereira is obviously a big spotlight fighter, and then in the co-main with Raquel Pennington against Juliana Pena, a couple fighters from the Ultimate Fighter, there's a rivalry, a lot of talk, so a lot of spotlight on them. But there are some other fighters on this undercard that we should be paying attention to. So I'm going to give you uh, one, two, three, four, five today that we should be watching for. Uh, the first one, he's a legend. It's Jose Aldo. Coming off of a win in his last fight, he is still genuinely one of the best fighters this sport has ever seen. And no, it is not the same as when he was kicking Uriah Faber's leg off in WEC on their only pay-per-view. And no, it is not the same when he was running through everyone en route to a giant clash with Conor McGregor when he probably definitely should have got a rematch against Conor McGregor after that fight, but is what it is. But it is still a legend, and it is still someone who I, I think has kind of matured in this fight game to understand what his strengths and weaknesses are in 2024. And so, another opportunity to see one of the all-time greats. You have to take that chance. Um, the next fight, or th this one is the full fight that I think we should really be paying attention to. It is Ketlin Vieira against uh, Kayla Harrison. I think the UFC is hoping that Harrison gets a win here, setting up a title opportunity against either Pena or Pennington, depending on, on how that fight goes. Harrison obviously coming with a lot of fanfare from the PFL, um, although not undefeated after losing her second last bout in the professional fight league, but she comes in, dominates Holly Holm, and they are trying to, I think, fast track her. For Vieira, uh, she's, I think she's won two of her last three, so I, I don't think she gets rocketed into a title opportunity if she picks up a win, although this would be a gigantic win over Kayla Harrison, but Harrison is legitimately... She was probably the best fighter not in the Ultimate Fighting Championship until that changed, and she signed in the Ultimate Fighting Championship, and now she's one of the best fighters in the Ultimate Fighting Championship, and resume-wise would be very deserving of a title shot coming off of this one. Uh, Joaquin Buckley is the next one, has won four in a row. He gets an interesting test against Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. This would be the biggest name that Buckley has beaten so far. Um, he does have a couple of good fights on a four-fight winning streak here, but this would be a gigantic name for him and put him, this isn't one where, oh, and he would rocket his way into a championship opportunity or anything like that. Uh, but I, I do think that this would put him in line for a very big fight, probably to start 2025 and put him in a, okay, this is maybe a guy we need to watch um, going into next year. And the last one, Carla Esparza, a retirement fight against Tisha Pennington. These two I don't know how their paths haven't crossed aside from a quarterfinal fight on the Ultimate Fighter, but this is the retirement fight for Carla Esparza against Tisha Pennington, formerly Tisha Torres. Um, th this is... It's an amazing career that Carla Esparza is going to be uh, leaving behind, and an amazing legacy that she... Um, kind of, uh, again, leaves here in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. It's great that she was able to, to get this spotlight with the Ultimate Fighter when that was still a thing, um, and then moving into the world of the, the UFC as a champion, and then th this last little act here, where she was able to maybe get a couple beneficial matches along the way, and that helped her out, but still put her in a position to go back and win another championship. It's really, really cool to see her getting the spotlight one more time, and a fight with Tisha Pennington, um, a couple of uh, as far as a couple of, I don't want to say legends, but a couple of fighters who have really paved the way for this kind of next generation of fighters to come. So a very interesting fight here to, to round out uh, UFC 307. So those are some of the fighters you should be watching for coming up here on Saturday in Salt Lake City.